Can we talk about what happened at LAX? The flyaway guy stopped. He wouldn't let me over. And then he stops. In the middle of the lanes, when the traffic was insane, stops next to me, blocking the drive lanes, not the parking lanes, parks the big-ass flyaway bus at an angle to open the door and come out and yell at me and tell me that he's going to call the cops and that he's going to tell Uber on me. Yeah. They didn't say a word to me this whole trip and now she wants to tell me to drop them off right here as if I don't already know. He's having a bad day. You're a fucking idiot. Okay? Okay. 4869. Alright, so after all that, this bus driver is breaking the rules of the airport, probably laws. He's still blocking the lane. He's just blocking the whole airport right now. And then watch what he does. He just pulls right in in front of the cop, the car that I went around. Like, what was the point of all that? Like, he could have just let me in and then went and pulled into his spot. By the way, those flyaway buses and all the trams and stuff, they have their own spot. Where he pulled in is only for the buses. They're obviously letting fucking psychos drive flyaway buses now. And I'm not a rat, okay? So I'm probably just going to make a video and let this one go. But I'm definitely putting Van Nuys Flyaway in the title. This is going to be the video. And yeah. If he wants to call the cops and rat me out, then that's awesome. I hope we all get together and review my video footage to show how fucking insane that was. Now, this is a good time to talk about the airport. When you're in the airport, the light. The way to make the LAX horseshoe is what we call it flow well is if somebody needs to get over, you just let them over. Every time you try to box somebody out, and a bus is the ultimate vehicle to box people out with. So if you're in a bus, you really shouldn't be boxing people out. And but any anytime somebody at LAX wants to box people out, then they have to stay in that lane. They can't move forward until they get by so that then they can cross over so it doesn't work it slows down traffic for everybody it's always better that when somebody puts on their signals and they want to get over just let them in right your a b c d e f whatever which whatever one the way things are supposed to work is you pull to the end forget about your passengers like, forget about, like, the people standing in the way. Like, no, you pull to the end as far as you can get. 
you do not stop in the back you do not stop in the middle you pull up to the end as far as you can go and then as people leave you keep moving forward you don't get out of the car and wait for your passenger unless you're already at the far end which also means that if you're coming into the rideshare area you go behind the people that are pulling into the rideshare area you do not pull around to the front now I realize that everybody's got it all fucked up and sometimes we just got to do what we got to do but this is the way it's supposed to work you come in the back you pull to the end 